I've previously done videos demonstrating how you can invert audio and use that to receive a lower sideband signal on an upper sideband only receiver or vice versa. There's other applications as well. For instance, in use with direct conversion and double sideband equipment. There are several circuits you could use. For instance, you could use a ring modulator with several transformers, diodes, and an oscillator. All that works, but if you want something quick, there is a kit that needs just one component to be changed to do the job. That kit is the JCAR Short Circuit Sound Like a Dalek project. It's basically an audio processing circuit that takes audio, amplifies it, sends it to a balanced modulator, then mixes it with a locally generated signal. That signal is around a few hertz. The effect is to give some strange sound effects. A bit like sounding like a Dalek, hence the project's name. Pointing out the main components, this is the LM833 op amp, this is the 4066 balance modulator, and this is the 555 timer used for the local oscillator. The big change I've made is to change the frequency of that local oscillator. Instead of it being a few tens to a few hundred hertz, I've set it up so it can operate at a higher frequency around two and a half to three kilohertz. The circuit already had a potentiometer where you could vary the frequency. To get a higher frequency, I just took out the existing capacitor of 10 nanofarad and substituted a 470 picofarad disc ceramic. The result is the incoming signal is being mixed with a signal around two and a half to three kilohertz with the difference being inverted. That's sent to an output where you can listen either on headphones, although the volume is a little bit faint, or plug into a computer speaker or other utility audio amplifier. I built this just to prove that it worked. And when it did, I went out and bought the kit from JCAR. It's a much neater arrangement with the 555 oscillator on board. The kit itself costs $24. The catalogue number is KJ8228. Another thing I should mention is that the audio input is based on taking the very low level output from an electric microphone. If you are driving a receiver's headphone socket into it, then the audio level will be too high. So do something about adding a resistive divider, a potentiometer or something to cut the audio down. Another thing you might want to think about is that the 10K resistor provides a DC bias for the electric microphone, which you won't need if you're not using it. You can either use a capacitor to provide some DC isolation in series with the incoming audio, or just not have the 10K resistor at all. We don't want DC appearing across the output of the audio from your receiver. The kit comes with a volume control potentiometer. You may wish to replace it with a preset depending on what you do with this circuit.
I'm tuning across 40 meters. You'll notice that it's reading upper sideband. That's because I've got the sideband inverter in circuit. So these are all really lower sideband signals. to make sure that there is an orderly transition. When Barry Goldwater, the great conservative, 1964 nominee for president of his party, he led a delegation of senators and House leaders to the White House and told Richard Nixon he had to leave office. So just tuning across 40 meters. what it sounds like when we're right at the center. We'll do some more tuning. This is tuning below. All these experiments were done by inverting the receive audio. But you're likely to get similar results if you inverted the transmit audio. That could be potentially useful if you are transmitting double sideband to someone else with a direct conversion receiver, or you wish to convert upper sideband, like from a commercial HF transceiver that is generally upper sideband only, like a, a Barrett or Kodan or something similar to the lower sideband that amateurs mostly use on 7 MHz and below. You'd need to arrange some form of audio switching in the speaker and microphone connections so the voice inverter circuit was operational on both transmit and receive. And you might need to do something about the levels since the audio levels will be higher on receive than on transmit where you're just inverting weak audio from the microphone. If you do any work with this, please let me know in the comments section 
as many would be interested in hearing your results. New South Wales Government will extend its 15 hours per week of free preschool until the end of 2021. In April, the State Government followed the Federal Government and made childcare free for the 45,000 children in New South Wales who attend community preschools. Unlike the Commonwealth, the State Government continued to subsidise the 700 preschools it funds for up to 15 hours per week.